Hello and welcome to Visual Hunting. Uh, what we're going to be walking you through today is how to use and learn from uh, data provided by Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife uh, within, uh, for, or at least for the 2009 Oregon turkey hunting data uh, that's made publicly available. Um, the reason, obviously, uh, from a visual standpoint, you can get a much better feel for uh, where the turkeys are and probably get spots to uh, go check out or scout out for your 2010 turkey hunt. Um, this video will just briefly demonstrate how to use this application. Um, first thing to note is down here at the bottom is basically how we're uh, filtering the data so we can look at harvest data, hunters, uh, number of hunter days, um, the days per hunter, so each hunter how many days they hunted as well as the birds per hunter and the birds per hunt day. <laughs> Uh, down here we've got a legend which displays uh, when you first load up this app uh, this is going to be based on the total harvest so the number of turkeys that were harvested in that unit uh, now all of this data once again is, is made publicly available through ODF and W's website and uh, it's basically data that's reported by hunters uh, after the season uh, through filling out their tags and mandatory reporting so uh, first off, if you do want to display cities, there's a checkbox here that you can display c cities uh, if you want to know what uh, major cities within Oregon are near those hunting units. Um, hunting units uh, are, are not counties, obviously, uh, but just units that uh, ODF and W uses to manage the, uh, uh, the hunting seasons and populations and wildlife and all that good stuff. Uh, you can turn unit names off as well if you want to just visually uh, display data uh, with color. Uh, I personally like to if, keep those on, but if you don't, you can still get the, uh, the hunting unit name as you mouse over each unit. You'll notice down here in the bottom left uh, a display of the actual unit number and name. So we'll go ahead and leave our unit names on and just kind of show you how we'd work with this to, to gain some insight as to where to, to hunt turkeys. Um, the bright red spots uh, are going to be where uh, a lot of turkeys were harvested. Uh, the lighter red uh, less and less until you get to these white ones uh, where really there aren't any turkeys so nobody's out there hunting anyways. Um, and once again as you mouse over you'll <coughs> get the uh, data so uh, Melrose for example has the number one turkey harvest uh, for 2009 with 855 turkeys. Um, a couple other hot spots if you look at Rogue uh, 302, uh, Applegate 230, and, and Evans Creek 201. So uh, Southern Oregon is definitely a hot spot for uh, turkeys and, and a good spot to be uh, uh, turkey hunting on opening day. Uh, but there's also some pretty good turkey hunting in uh, the Willamette Valley. Uh, the Willamette and McKenzie uh, units uh, are pretty good, and, and White River actually on the east side of Mount Hood. Uh, there's definitely some turkeys over there. Uh, a little bit in Central Oregon, not that many. Uh, and then there's definitely some turkeys over on the northeast corner of the state. So this is where uh, the majority of turkeys were, were harvested. If we want to look at where the majority of hunters are, so this will give us a little bit different representation of how many people are, are hunting in a specific unit. Uh, once again, there's definitely a lot of uh, hunters down in the southern Oregon area, Melrose 1265, Rogue 1121, uh, but White River uh, 1797. So White River's got the most people hunting, uh, probably because it's proximity to Portland and uh, kind of a small unit. So one thing to keep in mind if you head over there is there's, it's definitely a crowded area. And when it comes to turkey hunting, that's not the most desirable thing as you're trying to uh, to hide and, and lure the gobblers in. Uh, there's some hunters obviously over in the northeast side of the state but uh, nowhere near what you're going to find uh, uh, on the west side. Uh, if we want to look at total hunter days um, it's going to look fairly similar to uh, the number of hunters um, but just a little bit different display and, and really what you're doing, trying to do here is just get a feel for uh, where you potentially want to go hunt uh, based on 
you know, where your odds are, are, are best going to be for uh, a couple things. If, if you're going to need public land, obviously that's pretty important. You're going to find much more public land on the east side of the state. Uh, and if you're looking for places that aren't too crowded, uh, use this data accordingly. Uh, days per hunter, basically how many days did the average uh, guy or, or gal out there hunt? Um, and this will give you kind of a feel for how long it takes to actually fill your tag. Um, and you'll also notice that this, the display is quite a bit different in that there's actually, you know, up here in Saddle Mountain, there was no turkeys harvested, uh, but did have an average of two days per hunter. Um, so you'll see a, a display that kind of reflects that uh, people are out hunting, but didn't necessarily have as much success as, as some of these other areas. You got a lot of, you know, average person in, in uh, Chetco is, is hunting 6.2 days. Uh, five days and, and four days and so on and so forth. And uh, probably the more valuable uh, metrics out of this are birds per hunter and birds per hunt day. Uh, I really like the birds per hunter because uh, it really gives you a good idea of what your odds are going to be if you're hunting in that unit. Um, so uh, number one, Waihi, uh 0.67 and I believe Melrose actually is 0.68. So these these two units, um, you know, your odds are better than than 60% that you're going to fill your tag. Um, at 0.5 would basically mean for every two guys hunting, one guy is going to get a turkey. Uh, indigo 0.58 uh, and so forth. Uh, as we move over here to the northeast side, uh, same thing. About 0.5. I'll find a lot of 0.5. So your odds are pretty good uh, if you're over in the northeast side uh, to to get a turkey. Now personally I'm uh, I spend a lot of my time in the Metolius unit which has a birds per hunter of 0.1 uh, which are not very good but since it's pretty close to me that's where I go so basically for every 10 hunters uh, one bird was harvested so uh, something to keep in mind as you're, as you're looking to where you want to go hunt is, is what is that birds per hunter day uh, and one more display of, of birds per hunt day gives you a, another representation of that data so uh, I would uh, I would recommend just kind of play with uh, the different filters and data sets to determine a what's a what's a unit or area that's close to you um, and what's going to have a high uh, birds per hunter number or birds per hunt day uh, and then there's all obviously the factors of what's where, where you can hunt if you've got uh, private land versus public land but uh, that's basically how you use this uh, turkey hunting application. Uh, come back to uh, www.visualhunting.com and we'll have some uh, new apps for uh, other species and other types of hunt for uh, upland game and, and big game and, and, and all of your uh, needs as far as finding the place, the best place to hunt uh, with looking at existing uh, ODF&W data.